Hi, um, yeah, just uh, about time I made another video. I haven't done one for a couple of weeks, so I think I mentioned last time my wife um, was going to hospital for an operation. Um, good thing is she's she's fine now. She's back home settling in, so that's all good news. Uh, but it did mean I wasn't able to do very much of this for a while. But that's fine. Other things have to take priority sometimes. There is a real life to live as well. Um, yeah, um, while, while I was away, um, things got a little bit chaotic up here. Um, this is what my desk looked like when I came back to it. So before I could get back into painting, there was a little bit of site clearance to do, but uh, that's all sorted now. Um, and I've had a couple of days of painting, so yeah, we've made some good progress, actually. Another bunch of Celt Warriors here. Um, you've seen these before. Um, nothing new here. Um, but uh, it's another 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 few uh, to, to add to the box that I'm, I'm building up. I've got a few more to do, but yeah, it won't be too much longer, hopefully, before, uh, before I finish these. Um, and I can start basing them up and, uh, and doing something with them. Um, yeah, so that's that's where I, that's what I'm aiming to do for the moment as the main project. But I've been watching a few videos on here lately, um, and there's a lot of Napoleonic goodness going on, which is really um, got the juices flowing a bit in the nicest possible way. Um, I think the final straw, and I'm holding him entirely responsible for this, is um, Leon T66. Um, put up a video a couple of days ago of some French um, Napoleonic infantry that he painted, and I thought to myself. I've got that set. Um, I'd quite like a go at that myself. I'm sure I won't do as good a job, but um, it'd be nice to get started and see how I get on. Um, so yeah, I've got distracted, unfortunately. The Wargaming Butterflies kicked in. I've been buying sort of map 28mm Napoleonics for a little while with a view to doing them at some point in the future. I'm not going mad buying them, but when I see a real bargain or I see something that's really attractive, grab it and put it in the corner and I'll get around to it one day. And uh, that day was this weekend. I haven't finished him yet, but uh, I'll just move the camera over and you can have a quick look at where I'm up to so far. Yeah, these are just the uh, French, late, French, late war French infantry in the great coats. I've got 18 of them. Um, they came out of the Waterloo box set, Warlord Games, um, which I picked up very, very cheap. So I was quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, so this is, this is what I'm doing at the moment. Once I've finished these, I'm aiming to get back to the Celts again. Um, what I'll do now, um, as I say, you've seen the Celt Warriors loads of times, so I won't go through those again, but um, I've done a few, I've got something else I can show you, um, that I painted a couple of months ago. I really enjoy painting them, so uh, I'll stick those up and see what you think. So yeah, chariots, um, something a bit different. I really enjoyed doing these. Um, took a little while, but they were well worth it. Um, I'll put some stills up at the end so you can see them a bit more closely, but um, they're War Games Foundry, um, which... Yeah, the figures are amazing. Um, again, there's something I've done lots of plastics and I've got nothing against them, but it's just something nicer about painting a metal figure for some reason. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe not everyone feels the same, but it certainly works for me. Um, yeah, great fun doing these. They're such nice figures as well. Really great sculpts, really chunky. Lots of lots and lots of character going on. And these were really nice to do. Um, they work out very very expensive. About fourteen quid a chariot, I think. Um, so you don't want too many, but um, yeah, just just a handful. Um, they look nice. It's, they're, they're worth the money, I think. As I say, really enjoyed painting them. Um, once I finish basing them up, we'll um, we'll get them into the game, and uh, and hopefully they'll they'll uh, they'll be as good fun to play with as they were to paint. Um, not a lot to say about them, really. As I say, I think you can see we'll put some stills up at the end, just give you an idea. But yeah, as I say, things are coming along. Um, getting back into everything now, and um, we'll start sort of posting some more videos as we go along. I imagine the next thing will be to uh, pick up with the Napoleonics again and get those finished. Which I've made some good progress so far, so a few more days, hopefully, um, hopefully they'll be done. Um, yeah, so just to say thank you again for everyone that's been commenting, subscribing, watching. Uh, it's all really appreciated. I've had some good chats with people in various sort of comments section of your own videos. I have been able to watch videos here and there, squeeze them in as I've been going. I've been a few days behind, but um, I've been catching up and staying on top of things. Um, so as I say, yeah, thanks again for everyone for watching and subscribing. Keep doing what you're doing. Hope your projects are going well. As I say, and uh, Leon T66, you're, you're particularly in my bad books at the moment for distracting me. But those Napoleonic figures are, are really, really nice. So I can't wait to get those finished. They're, they're coming along really good and I'm really enjoying them. So uh, it just means I'm distracted. But what the hell? Uh, you've got to do what you enjoy, haven't you, at the end of the day? Uh, it's a hobby. It's, it's not a chore. Not meant to be anyway. Um, yeah, so great. Thanks very much. Um, hope everyone's well. Projects are going well. Um, I'll leave it there because I'm going to ramble otherwise. Over if I'm not already. Over and out. Take care.